Hi there, YouTube. I wanted to make a quick update video about my complications that I was having. So I was able to go see my doctor last week, and we had a conversation about um, kind of what all was going to happen to treat the issue and to figure out kind of where to go next with everything and what I'm supposed to be expecting. Um, I did learn that this is actually an extremely rare kind of complication. Uh, throughout the entirety of my doctor's uh, being a surgeon, he has never seen the hardware coming out of the gums the way that they are with me. So upon asking kind of how they're going to treat what is going on here. The plan at the moment is to wait for four months after the surgery. So I am right around month two right now. So I'm about halfway there. Um, at month four, they're going to go ahead and they've given the bones enough time to fuse. And um, they're going to go ahead and remove the exposed hardware only. So that's a plus. I was worried they were going to have to remove all of it. Um, and then I'm going to be stitched back up. It's a nice um, outpatient procedure. I'm going to go into my surgeon's office. It's going to take about an hour according to his estimation and I'm going to just be put under there and they're going to remove it, clean out the infection, and seal me back up. And this should actually also close the hole that goes from where the hardware is up into my nose um because i am having the issue where every time i drink any liquids or when i rinse with the mouthwash um i'm getting a lot of what's in my mouth coming out of my nose and so that's been really unpleasant but i've just been keeping it really clean as best i can and that's really all i can do i am getting a lot of the sensation and feeling back uh mostly my top lip is I can feel most of it and then like starting down here is starting to come in so that's been pretty nice um I do still have the infection and as you can tell I'm a little puffier over here than I am on this side this side I feel like I just have a tiny bit of swelling right here but this side I can definitely still feel all of this is really just puffy and um it's not too painful I do get some shoots of pain but it's nothing constant so that's been pretty um pretty manageable i just take time and all when it gets uncomfortable i've woken up a couple of days with headaches and so i take time and all to take care of those too um and that is really about all that i think i have to talk about today um but thank you for watching and for being on this journey with me and i'm gonna upload another update video hopefully after uh, the procedure and you'll get to see the outcome so thanks for watching